Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Android um, media browser part of Android Auto, which is this base. Okay, that's spazzed out for a second. But anyway, this is it here. It's just getting um, media controls to show up on the car. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to set up a project. We're going to set my minimum APK to 21. You don't have to do this. You can use the uh, media session compat which by the way media session compat is completely like it just doesn't work on anything under l it's just a wrapper around it so that you can use it but you need to use a media session a proper media session object from android l in order for it to work anyway first thing we're going to do is i'm going to open up a browser window and pull it to the side while the uh, project builds I can't remember the manifest stuff you have to put in. I know what you have to put in, but uh, I'm just going to. Oh, come on, Gradle. <sighs> anyway. That's it. Okay. So we're going to close out this project and we're going to be inside our Android Auto project. I'm going to switch this media browser thing to the left to. Oh, not packages. Uh, project. I much prefer the folder structure rather than the other one, but just because I'm used to it. Okay, so we've got our standard project ready to go. So in order for media browsing to happen on Android L, in fact, I'm going to do something a little bit. I forgot to do this. Uh, appearance. I have a big font mode for doing tutorials in, which is should make it easier for you to read. So in order for this to work, essentially all you need to do is you need to provide a service. Uh, you have to extend the media browser service, register in your manifest with an intent launcher, and add a little manifest metadata entry which tells the system, yes, we want to support auto with media playback. So first thing we're going to do is in the res folder, we need to create an XML folder. So new Android resource directory. And we're going to type uh, XML. There we go. Okay, so there's an XML folder. And we're going to create an XML file. And we're going to call it... Okay, so we need to actually change the um, root element. We'll get rid of it for now. We'll just change it to be a preference screen because it doesn't matter. And the file name, we're just going to call it auto. Uh, descript. DSC. Okay. And in here, all we need to do is add this code. Now I'm copying this from the Google site uh, on getting started with Android Auto, but this is all you need to add is automotive app uses media auto, and then close the automotive app tag. So this will tell uh, when we register this file in the manifest, this will tell the system, okay, this is an automotive app and it uses media for uh, texting you would have uses message i think it is or uses text let me just check that i've got a browser on my second monitor so i can just look over at it yeah uses notification so we're doing the media one first so that's the first thing we need to do the second thing is a bit of metadata added to the application in the manifest so underneath your activity we need to add the metadata and it's com.google.android.gms.car.application. Big long name, find on thing. And you need to point at XML, auto description. So this is now telling, this bit of line has now told the Android auto system that this is ready for the car, this app. So let's run it on the uh, emulator and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, it's coming up pretty standard. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's bring up the media sim again. Media sim, and if we go in here, hmm, never registered. Oh, I know I didn't register. I'm an idiot. We have to get the next part done for that to work. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create our media browser service. Now this fills in the metadata for the actual media. So we're going to create a new class and we're going to call it 
Um, don't really know what to call it, honestly. I know. We'll call it Twist Media Browser. Service. Okay. And it extends Media Browser Service, okay? And we have to implement a few uh, methods for this to work. And we need our own create for our service. Okay, so let's register this service in the manifest. So it's a service. Yep, came up there nicely. Uh, let's create a tag. We need an intent filter. And we need an action. Android name is android.media. I'm going to copy paste this from the uh, page on getting started with auto. There we go. So Android uh, media browser media.browse.media browser service and that's how that happens so now what's happening is now Android Auto goes okay this is a media app we know it's a media app when we install it and it goes I want to show this up in the list now in order for this to work we have to tell it what to show on that list on the left so if we look at the emulator okay wow that's really bugging out there as you can see here on the left we don't have any information here's normally a list of apps that the user can pick but we don't have that because we need to tell it what to put there and then what we actually put there is this browser root so this is returning null which means nothing will show up so what we need to do is we need to create a browser root well I can't type it all We need to create a browser root and we need to create a root ID and a null and no bundle for that now the browser root uh, doesn't actually do anything like if I bring up the docs damn control Q on this <sighs> sorry about that had a sneeze but the browser root uh, we create the root ID this is the root ID for onload children you'll I'll explain what that does in a second but all we're going to do is we're just going to have it say test id or test root the user won't see that string okay so we turn our browser root oh crap damn it i need to rebuild that i didn't return the object i said it's redundant but yeah okay Now why? Ah, there we go. Android Media. Auto Media is showing up. That's our app. And we click into it. It does nothing. And it crashed out. I'll explain why that crashed out in a second. You need to have a media session for this to work. Okay, so it's bombing out because there's no media session. Uh, we never set one up. So that's the next step. Media sessions. Um, so the browser route, you've seen it pop up there. And it was the... Uh, Basically, it uses the app's metadata to figure out what the app is. And when you click on the browser route, it loads the children, which is what we define here. So what we do is, yeah, and then each node, so if we, um, when we load the children, we can tell it that it's an expandable item. And we can add onload children again for the second one. And this is actually ID, root ID, okay. But first off, we need a media session because that's what the browser service is expecting. It's expecting a media session to start pulling metadata from. So we're going to create a media session. I'm going to create a new media session. Okay, we need a context, which means we have to put this inside the onCreate itself. And this... And we need an ID, so we're just going to call this Auto Test Media Session. That's just for that sake. Okay, so we need to set the media session. Up. Set active, true, and then we need to call as media session dot token equals session gets it. Oh, damn it! Media session dot get session token 
and then we set our token on that. So what this has done is this sets up a media session, which is what Android uses to track what's playing media at what time. And these media sessions are used everywhere. They'll show up on your watch. They're used for sending uh, media to TVs. They're used for external display. They're really, really, really powerful. And it also allows you to set up all the metadata. Let's make that private. Okay. So now we have our media session actually ready to go. So if we run this now, the media browser servers should be working. Okay, so our app is actually crashing. And that is because Ah, yes. We're not loading children. That's why it it requires a little bit of work. But if we look at this here, you can see and auto media is showing up. Now the reason it's crashing is it's not able to load the children automatically. So if we click this, what's happening here is we click that, it goes into here and it can't do anything. So we need to fill in the onload children uh, method. So remember this root, test root ID here we have. That ID, because this browser root is an expandable item by default, okay, that's being returned here. So if I actually log that out, I'm just log a T root ID. So this method can be called by multiple different um, or multiple times. So every time you tap an expandable item, it loads another sub list, and that's what this is. So if we uh, just let the recent apps come up, when it comes up, come on. Frickin' emulators. Okay, so if we click that, now it's crashed as we expected, but as you can see down here where I'm highlighting, you can see test root ID has been printed out are logged out. So that's excellent. So that means it's getting in here. So what we need to do is we need to create media browser dot media items. Okay. And we need to return a list of those. And then we set we create our list, we set the list on this. And that's how it works. Now you can also do this asynchronously using detach. So you call detach. So list result detach means that that can return and then at a later time we can fill in the children which is good the media browser items and the advantage of this is if you need to query a database or something you can uh, do that you can detach it do your query get your list ready and then send it back so it can load up and keeps the uh, ui responsive which is very important we're not going to do that though so we're going to create a list uh, media browser dot media item Media items equals new array list. Good old diamonds from a Java 7 getting in there. So we need to create a media browser item. Okay. And we need a media description. This is tedious doing this stuff. I don't like doing this stuff. So we need a media description. Media description uh, dot. Builder equals new media description dot builder. Crap, that shouldn't be there. Okay, so we need to build our media description. Okay, set description media item description, and we set title. Builder dot uh, set icon URI that allows us to point to a URI on the file system, which is actually quite nice for loading up the uh, image. Let's say you want to load up an uh, album artwork or something. Uh, extras, you can just load up that. Uh, icon bitmap, we can set a bitmap directly. A subtitle, we're not going to do any of that though. And then in here, we're just going to build our builder. Build. 
and then the flags are media item uh, flag browsable means it ha contains subarms so this is how we define the list okay so flag playable is what we want and then we need to add that to our list Okay, I'm going to close up my browser. Uh, I'm running out of memory on my computer. I don't know why I'm running out of memory. I shouldn't be. I must have a leak somewhere or a driver leak. And we need to send our result of media items. Okay, so we call list result uh, and send result on that. So now what's going to happen is you'll see you'll you'll see how this works in a second. Okay, let you run. Hang on a minute. Okay, we'll just close out everything. Make sure it's not caching anything or doing anything hilarious. Why is it bugging here? What the hell is going on? Oh, description must have a non-empty ID. Don't forget. Set description. Media item one. There we go. Sorry about that. That was me making a muck of it. Okay, so now it should work correctly. Why did I set description? You used cop that, didn't you, when you're watching this video? You just looked at that and said, yeah, he did. He set the description, not the uh, ID. Okay. There we go. So that's how it now it's working correctly. It took me a little bit there, but as you can see, click here. Auto media, so that's our app. This is where like Google Play Music and all that show up. Click that. You click media item. And then that media item has now been loaded into this. And then you can click play, pause, whatever. Now we have to still have to handle our controls. This video has ran quite long. So in the next video, we're going to finish this up. Uh, I'm going to show you expanding media items. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, handling play, pause and stuff like that. Just getting the callbacks for them. I'm not actually going to link it to an audio service because that takes a little bit you know, ridiculous amount of videos. But what we'll do is we'll just get it to actually get the controls to start play, pause and managing that and getting them from this. So that's it guys for this video and I'll see you next time.